Director Oliver Stone first heard the doors as a young 21-year-old soldier in Vietnam. For nearly 10 years, the project went through development hell, with the likes of Martin Scorsese and Brian De Palma flirting with the idea of making the biopic. Through many legal battles with the parents of Jim Morrison's girlfriend, Pamela Corson, and opposition from some of the surviving band members, Oliver Stone finally got to make his transient biopic of Jim Morrison and the Doors. Welcome to the Rewind Zone. Thanks for joining me as we revisit the cast of this 1991 classic featuring Val Kilmer and Meg Ryan. We'll update the actors for you in 2023 and let you know some interesting insights into this iconic film. If you're ready, let's hit Rewind. Through its decade of being tossed around like acid during the 60s, many leading men such as Tom Cruise, Richard Gere, Johnny Depp, and John Travolta showed interest in fronting up as Jim Morrison. Singers Bono of U2 as well as Michael Hutchins of NXS also expressed interest in the role. When Stone took over the project in 1988, he always had Val Kilmer in mind. He had seen Kilmer in Ron Howard's Fantasy Willow in 1988 and was impressed with the actor. Kilmer had a very similar singing voice to Morrison and to show the director that he was suitable for the role, he spent thousands of his own money to record an 8 minute audition tape depicting Morrison in various stages of his life and belting out the band's famous songs. To prepare for his role, Kilmer lost weight and spent six months rehearsing and perfecting the songs, which he performed himself in the movie. Kilmer also spent hundreds of hours with the Doors producer, Paul Rothschild, who related stories, tragedies, and helped with pronunciation and interpreted the music from Jim's perspective to allow Kilmer to fully encompass his role. It has been reported that when the band members heard Kilmer sing, they couldn't tell who they were actually listening to. Stones auditioned over 60 actresses for the role of Pamela Corson, with Meg Ryan narrowly beating Patricia Arquette to the role. Casting director Risa Bramon felt that Arquette auditioned very well and should have got the role. Meg Ryan was not a fan of The Doors and spent time speaking to the Corsons and the friends of Pamela to gain some insight. She noted through her research that she encountered several conflicting views on Pamela. With a budget set at $32 million, The Doors was filmed over 13 weeks, predominantly in the area around Los Angeles, Paris, New York, and the Mojave Desert. The film grossed only $34 million at the box office and was met with very mixed reviews from critics. As previously mentioned, Kilmer performed all the songs in the film to avoid lip-syncing. He would sing over the Doors' master tapes that they had edited to remove Morrison's voice. The concert scenes took several days to film and proved to test Kilmer's stamina physically and vocally. The film is based mostly on real people and actual events, with some segments reflecting Stone's vision and dramatization of those people and events. What many directors would have seen as a biopic into the band Stone saw as an opportunity to expand into the trippy and music-crazed era of 60s rock and roll. He garnered much criticism for his portrayal of Morrison's as merely a drunk and drug-fueled rocker, but Oliver Stone, here and throughout his career, has never been about accuracy so much as myth and metaphor. Let us know your thoughts about this film in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you on the other side.